Well, if you're planning a winter getaway or looking to head to spring break, you'll want to act fast. Airfares remain very high. There was no seasonal dip in prices this winter as expected. Earlier, we asked CBS News senior travel advisor Peter Greenberg about fares and the best travel bargains. Now, Peter, you mentioned on your Eye and Travel podcast the other day that you were wrong. <laughs> that the seasonal airfares we see each winter did not happen. In fact, airfares remain very high. What changed? Well, it's a question of what didn't change. During the pandemic, a lot of Americans made a decision. And the decision was, we're not going to spend a lot of money on material goods. We're not going to buy a new car, jewelry, clothes. We're not going to buy electronic items. We're going to buy experiences. So that when travel opened up, that's how they came running out of the gate. They weren't price sensitive and they continue to spend. That's why we saw such high airfares and hotel rates. I was wrong because I thought, okay, when September rolls around and we get through Labor Day, seasonality kicks in, kids go back to school, the demand goes down, prices go down along with them. Guess what? Demand didn't go down because people had changed their lifestyle as well. They were combining leisure and business travel. They learned how to work remotely. They learned how to teach remotely. And guess what? Those prices stayed high. And the quarter that I'm talking about is the fourth quarter that normally is very low turned out to be very high. And guess what happened to retail sales? They became stagnant. You'll see that in the reports from last month over the Christmas holiday season, people spent their money on travel as opposed to material goods. The real question that remains now is can that sustain a fair level be that way? And my guess is sooner or later it can't. So you're going to start to see some bargains hopefully by the end of next month and early April. Oh, that's good to hear. Mm -hmm. I've been looking at spring break fares and they're very, very high airfares right now. Right. So, so I hope you're right. You know, we've been talking a lot about the pilot shortage that airlines are dealing with. Are they giving some incentives to lure new pilots and are they paying off? Well, they're certainly doing the incentives, but the payoff is going to be at least two to three years away because they've got to train them. They're starting in many of these uh, flight academies from the ground up, a whole new crop of flight, flight uh, crew people from, from pilots to traffic controllers, you name it. But it's going to take two to three years to do it. You can't just kick the tires and sit in the cockpit. The point is, though, you're seeing some airlines starting their own flight academies, like United Airlines, and that'll give you an indication of how much they've got to fuel that pipeline with new talent. We always enjoy hearing where the travel hotspots are right now, and you always have some great suggestions for this winter. What are they? Well, Susan mentioned the spring break fares being very high. She's right. The bottom line is they're going to stay high, but there are bargains out there, and they'll stay bargains out there at least through the middle of June. And we're talking about Argentina, where the U.S. dollar is so strong against the peso. Same thing in Colombia. But then let's go across the Atlantic. Prices in Athens right now are down 15% over last year. That's a significant saving if you're going overseas, especially consider the power of the dollar against the euro. There's another thing happening. Certain airlines are doubling and tripling down on their routes across the Atlantic. United Airlines has now become the largest single transatlantic carrier in the world, and they're flying to places like Dubrovnik and the Canary Islands and the Azores and Amman, Jordan and Cape Town and many, many other places. They're getting some competition for some low fare carriers like, like Play and like Norse. And when you have that kind of activity across the Atlantic at this time of the year, that results in bargain fares. Right now, we've seen fares as low as $398 between New York and Lisbon. And by the way, you're not going to get that between New York and Fort Lauderdale during spring <laughs> break. So there are pockets of, of deals out there, and they will be there at least until June 15th. How about London, where you are right now? Well, London, you know, the dollar is very strong against the, uh, against the pound, and it stayed that way for quite some time, and it's staying that way now. Uh, now, listen, there, uh, hotel rates are through the roof, and airfares are still pretty high. But basic goods and services, what the locals pay relative to what we would have paid in U.S. dollars before, it's still a buyer's market if you're coming from America. Well, enjoy your stay there. and Have a cup of tea for us. <laughs> All right, Peter. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys.